Good morning. I'm glad you're here. Hey, have you been outside lately? Have you noticed that the leaves are starting to change? I love fall. I think it might be my favorite. Well, except for the beginning of springtime and parts of winter and summer, but I do love the fall. I love the weather getting cooler and I love the colors as the leaves start to change. I was telling Shep that we're in for a big treat over these next weeks as we can watch all the trees turn beautiful colors of gold and brown and red and we can play in the leaves when they fall to the ground. I think about the change of the seasons and it reminds me of something that Pastor Katie is going to help us think more about in our Bible story today about a um, person who plants and then waits and waits and then the seeds grow whenever they grow. And I was thinking about how there's a lot of things in, in this life, in this world, that we are not in charge of. I don't know when the leaves are going to change. I don't know how it happens. But I know someone who does. God is in control of all of it. The kingdom of God is one that we don't have to worry about a lot of those details. God is in control. And so we do all the things that we can do to take care of the earth and to take care of our gardens that we plant. But whether or not they grow, I had some great tomatoes, but my beans didn't grow at all. Whether or not they actually grow, some of that is just not up to us. I love being a child of a God who's in charge of so many things that I don't really have to worry about. The kingdom of God is like that. We can rest assured that God is in control. And so I want you to think about that as you walk about and look out your window and maybe go for a drive and start to see the beautiful colors of fall. Say a quiet prayer, thanking God for being in charge of our world and this kingdom and so many things so that we can sing songs of praise about the colors of fall and we can know that God is in control. Let's thank God for that. Lord, you are the God of heaven and earth. You are amazing. And we thank you that you take care of so many things. We can rest and relax and know that you are the Lord of all. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, Pastor Katie's going to tell us a little bit more about this story from the Bible.